Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Um, good afternoon, um, fellow Nigerians. As I promised um, in the morning uh, when I was uh, heading for uh, the Eid prayer, I promised to make video to talk to uh, Nigerians, uh, to talk to our president, uh, to talk to politicians, to talk to uh, the renegades, the Boko Haram. And... Uh, um, to talk to whoever is a stakeholder in the Nigerian project that um, with the way things are going we need to help the president uh, those of us that are out of government uh, because I'm retired uh, first of all let me start by introducing myself I'm Salih Garba Salut, Garo Mama Adieu. I'm a retiree, a pensioner uh, of NNPC. I've worked for NNPC uh, for over 27 years. I'm an IT uh, professional. Uh, I hold um, a degree from University of Greenwich uh, in inform Internet Information Systems. Um, I'm a professional uh, member of uh, British Computer Society, uh, formerly um, IMIS, uh, Institute for the Management Information Systems. Um, I have been a system analyst, a developer in NNPC. I've worked uh, for several years. Um, I left NNPC, I joined politics, I contested for um, the position of Senate, uh, Adama Central, um, but uh, we were rigged out because uh, we thought with people like Buhari, who has um, claimed to come and sanitize the polity, uh, to come and fight corruption, uh, our assumption is that uh, the electoral system will be fair. Because we've seen how fair it was in 2015 when we worked for him and then we voted him in. And then uh, the system was so good and, you know, Jonathan did not manipulate anything and then he was given his mandate. So we thought with Megaskia on board, now things will be better. So we joined the politics. We joined, we contested. Uh, I voted for Buhari in 2015. I campaigned for him. I voted for him. In 2019, I also voted for him. But I changed my mind after casting my vote, coming back home, receiving calls from my agents on the field that this is what is going on. APC, Buhari, and all the candidates, they have sent billions, millions of money. All the pooling units were turned to black market. Come with your vote, go and cast your vote, hold up the ballot paper, show it to an agent of the party. In fact, our agent, they bought them off. They pay them money, our agent just leave the scene. So it was purely money they used. The candidate that uh, won the Adama Central, she's a lady. She, she never came out on the media to campaign. She never tell people what she's going to do in Senate. She has no manifesto. I have my manifesto. I have my profile on my Facebook. I have published it. I've sent it everywhere. I, I campaign everywhere. I, I move to all the seven local government without even security escort. I just, I just move with my team. And we, we, we campaign successfully. We won the heart of people. But because these people were so poverty stricken on that election day, some of them 500, some of them 1,000 were given. And they sold their vote. So this has really, really touched me. Uh, I lost confidence on Muhammad Buhari. 
I lost confidence on uh, the INEC chairman, uh, the way he canceled the election, the, the money we spent, you know, after mobilizing our, our delegates, the, the announcement was made late. I only knew of the change in the money. So we have to look for money. I'm not, I did not steal a cobble from NNPC. I don't need to steal. Uh, that's not my culture. That's not in my blood. Uh, I don't need to steal to survive. Uh, as you see in my video, all my children are studying in Nigeria. Currently, I don't have the capacity to take them abroad. I have children of two years. Uh, the eldest is 20, uh, 20, getting to 21. So I have, I'm a critical stakeholder in the Nigerian project. Buhari, I don't think he has a stake in Nigeria than I do and than most of us do. So uh, this video, I'm going to divide it into parts. This part is the introductory part. Uh, I want to talk to uh, the president on the obligation that is on him, even though he's, he has stolen the mandate uh, in 2015, Yes, he was voted. He was voted by the people. And then uh, um, he was supported by the people. But this time around, he's, an arm, he's just like an arm robber. You know, an arm robber, when he went and robbed and get the money, you know, he will claim that money belongs to him. And people that didn't know he was an arm robber, they will assume that he has that money. And he will claim that God has given him that money. So the, the same thing when the supporters or the blind followers of Buhari are saying, Buhari is your leader. Yes, we agree. He's our leader. Uh, Buhari Allah Abashi Mulki. Yes, we agree. Buhari Allah Abashi Mulki. But Tahanyan uh, Haram the illegal way because satai kaman yadda barawo zai je saci zai saci kudi ya maida yace nashi ne to haka mulkin da buhari yake yanzu ba na 2015 ba wallahi tallahi ko qur'ani zan buga ni am a witness na participating a cikin siyasa na san me akai na san amfani da akai da EFCC na san amfani da akai da sojoji na san komai ni kai na an zo an ci mutunci na an ka EFCC ta zo ta kama ni an je an ci mini mutunci akan cewa ni na zo ina siyasa ba na cikin jam'iyyar gwamnati da bakin su naji suna cewa kai wa ga maka zaka ci siyasa baka APC baka PDP baka jam'iyyar gwamnati kace kai kadai ka fito zaka yi siyasa so wannan shine mu ko mun shigo siyasan nan ba wai don mu zo mun rasa kudi bane in kudi nake so na nema inda nake nan nan ake samun kudin Najeriya na sai yanzu na inta an yi ta neman kudin mu a wurin but mun ga abubuwa ne na lalacewa mun ga kuma muna da dama muna da skills muna da ilimi muna da experience muna da kishin kasa muna da zarafi da zamu iya kawo gyara I'm a system builder. I know how to design system. I know how to build system. I am a process in uh, re-engineering uh, uh, expert. We know how to re-engineer process. Kuma dugwa na na ilimi muna na muna ta sharing the su, the jama'a, akam Facebook, a WhatsApp, the sahuransu. Ba mu ba mu mas poye ilimi bani. So, zanzo video na wana kaddamarwani zan zo uh, na biyu zai magana akan uh, uh, abunda yake faruwa ma'ana security da abunda shugaban kasa ya kamata yayi zai ma yan siyasa magana zan kuma uh, jawo hankalin yan uwan mu yan boko haram because yan uwan mu ne musulmai ne kuma akwai akwai dangantaka na jini tsakanin mun mu da da wasu don uh, ni alal misali ni kanuri ne a cikin su akwai kanuri jatuma da ba fulata na ce a cikin su akwai ba fulata ne a cikin su akwai hausawa a cikin su akwai kabilu margi da sauransu so 
wadannan dole ba zamu cire su a jikin mu ba zamu tsaya mu yi musu magana zamu kawo musu tarihi na ta'addanci zamu kawo musu tarihi na cewa fada da tilastawa da Allah ya ce la ikraha fi din din baya dorewa za su iya zuwa alal misali su samu sa'a su mallaki Najeriya amma duk mulkin da ba za ka zo kai convincing mutum ka nuna masa ta ilimi ta jawo hankali ta lumana ta soyayya ta so da kauna ka nuna masa ga Allah ka bi ga hanya da za ka bi wanda zai amfane ka wannan hanya da suka dauko na kashi mutane kashi musulmai da wanda ba musulmi ba baya cikin addini kuma baya dorewa duniya ba ta yadda da shi ba Allah bai yadda da shi ba kuma bai zai dore ba suna wahal da kansu ne ana wahal da su wadanda suke tura musu kudi da makamai suna amfani ne da su don su zo su rusa mana kasa su rusa mana dama mu an dauke mu mu bakake bayi ne so yanzu ana amfani da su a zo a sa a rusa al'adumu a rusa mu baki daya so zai yi musu magana akan su aje makamai su zo su shigo ayi da'awa ayi evangelism a zo ayi magana baki da baki a fita ayi da'awa su kowa ya aure mu ga ma ya za mutun zai kare da gidansa da matan su da yaran sa daukan bindiga a hannu kana ganin kana da bindiga za ka iya kashe kowa ba shi bane addini addini shine ka zo kai yadda manzon Allah yayi manzon Allah yayi aure manzon Allah yayi surukaye manzon Allah yayi kasuwanci manzon Allah yayi mu'amala manzon Allah yayi maqaftaka da mutane manzon Allah yayi tafiye tafiye manzon Allah yayi alliance da wanda ba musulmai ba da wanda suke musulmai ya zauna da su mun ga yadda ya zauna da christians mun ga yadda ya zauna da yahudawa wannan shine rayuwa wannan shine rayuwa na jihadi ba wai rayuwan ka dauki AK47 ka shiga daji ka fito da daddare ka zo ka bindige mutane ka koma daji gobe ka saki fitowa ka ka sa bom anan wannan ba shine addini ba addini shine wanda annabi ya sunnanta ka zo practically ka zauna cikin mutane ka yi mu'amala da su a san halayen ka mai kyau wama arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin mu gar irin rahama da kake da shi da mutane tsakanin ka da mutane wannan shine addini so wannan zamu zo mu dan boko na haram magana akan wannan shi kuma shugaban kasa zamu yi masa magana akan cewa mulki a bauta ma jama'a ake if he is not ready ya aje wannan mulki ya ba mu wanda zai yi wannan mulki bayar da za a yi muna gani a yan ta'adda wanda ba su da ba wani training suke da shi ba su zo suna ta defeating sojojin mu su zo suna kwashi makamai sannan ba wanda aka ja kunnen sa ma muka ji an ja kunnen sa cikin hafsoshin sojoji babu wanda aka ja kunnen sa babu wanda aka ce masa don me bare a ce a ma cire shi to za mu jawo hankalin shugaban kasa akan responsibility na shi a matsayin shugaban kasa wadannan abubuwa muna yin sa ne akan principal na ta'amuruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhauna anil munkar sannan a kan kuma principal na manra'a almunkar duk wanda ya ga abun da bai kamata ba ya kawar da hannunsa ko ya yi magana ko yake abun a zuciyarsa sannan kuma yadda ake magana shine ana magana ne kan abubuwa uku za ka yi magana akan in ka ga barna ka tabbatar barna ne to dole ka yi magana akai sannan a uh, babu ko kwanto cikin wannan abu da ka gani na barna sannan kuma kana kyauta ta zaton in kai magana za a iya sauraro a gyara wannan barna a kau da shi ko a rage shi to akan wadannan ka'idoji nake wannan video nake wannan uh, jawo hankali a uh, bayan cewa na fadi wane ne ni na fadi irin ilimi da Allah ya bani 
da irin uh, experience da nake da shi da gogor maya da nayi a rayuwa duka na fada so a kuma matsayina nan din Najeriya wanda Allah ya bani uh, uh, Allah ya bani dama constitution ta bani dama a uh, matsayina dan kasa na ga abun da bai dace ba ne magana so zan barku a wannan wannan ita ce video ta farko this is the first video zan video na biyu zan magana da shugaban kasa directly uh, sannan zan zo kuma nayi uh, magana da yan siyasa uh, idan shugaban kasa mun yi masa magana mun jawo hankalin sa mun gargade shi mun nuna masa abun da kamata yayi bai ba to menene kamata yan siyasa su yi mu ba za mu yi brutai magana ba za mu yi wani hafsan sojoji magana ba da shugaban su za mu yi wanda mu muka zabe shi da shi za mu yi magana sannan zan zo ni nayi magana da yan najeriya a matsayin mu na yan najeriya menene ya kamata mu yi a matsayin mu na yan kasa na kan cewa mu yi kishin kasan mu mu tabbatar da shugabanni da suke wakiltan mu ko wanda aka zabe su ko wanda suka saci a position din ko wanda suka saye su position din duk yan najeriya ne mu tsaya mu yi musu magana muna da stack idan najeriya nan ta baci ta lalace ba mu da wani kasa wata ila su suna da double passport wani yana da american passport yana yana da british passport ni ban da ko daya ko da yake ina da qualification ina da duk abun da ya cancanci na je na zama international uh, professional in it na je na aiki a duk duniya inda zan je na aiki na na it zan je na to amma ni ina kishin kasata anan zan zauna anan zan rayu anan kuma in Allah yadda zamu zamu Allah zai dauki ranmu insha Allah so Nigeria kasar mu ce ba mu da wata kasa da tauce Nigeria ba inda zamu je kuma ba zamu zauna mu gani ana barna a zo a rusa mana kasa a rusa mana future a rusa mu yayan mu da jikokin mu future mu yi shiru ba Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I see you in the next video inshallah in a few minutes.